These Hot Wheels NASCAR diecasts are clearly the best 164 non elite cars I have ever seen. And this is Mark Martin's 2003 Pfizer for Taurus. Hey, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again, and welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. Today's car is, well, it's kind of a throwback. Uh, unlike the Jeff Gordon review we did earlier this week, let's not get the year wrong on this. This is a 2003, yes, 03 Mark Martin Pfizer uh, Ford Taurus, and wow, uh, the package is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit bented. You can see a pretty big uh, cross right here, and then, uh, you know, bent in uh, corner here. I don't feel bad about opening the package, but yeah, this is a vintage Hot Wheels uh, 164 scale die cast, and holy cow, man. Let's go ahead and get this die cast out of the box. Here she is, folks. Brand new out of the package, and uh, funny enough, um, the package here says 2002 on it, right? Well, clearly this is not the 2002 paint scheme, um, so I'm guessing it's just something uh, Mattel had with the licensing and whatnot, but uh, let's go ahead and continue with the review. Don't worry, we'll check out the card a little bit later. So over here on the hood, you got, uh, you know, it's just pretty much a, a blue oval with the Pfizer logo, of course, you know, uh, it being censored and all that, but uh, uh, I kind of have the, uh, it's almost an, a partial two-tone design here. It's kind of, uh, the whole nose of the car is kind of like painted black by the sides of it, had the blue and the white. Uh, beautiful, looks very good. Then you got over here on the nose, you got the signature Ford Taurus nose. I mean, this is way back in 03, the last year of the Winston Cup series. And uh, wow, look at those vintage Taurus headlights. Got the uh, Ford logo there. Roush Racing. I love the placement of the Roush Racing logo. Right there near the grill inlet. That is very unusual. Usually you've seen it on the headlights. I like that. Something unique. Got the uh, number six Taurus. I mean, these Hot Wheels die casts. I'm going to show you some, guys. You can see how finely detailed these things are. And this will prove it. If you have never seen a Hot Wheels NASCAR die cast, you would not know this, but look at the fine mesh detail. It might be hard to see it on camera, but the entire grill has got a mesh, right? They actually implemented it on the die cast. I mean, they said they just make it one bland color. No, they actually implemented it. So you can see the pixels, and that is one fine mesh over the grill. It looks beautiful. I mean, just, you know, just imagine this, just cruising around like Charlotte Motor Speedway or Atlanta, you know, picking up dirt and grime on the racetrack. Man, let me tell you, Mark Martin is one of NASCAR's greatest natural talent drivers. I mean, I mean, for crying out loud, this dude could still win in the Cup Series, in my opinion. And he's like wanting his freaking 60s, man. This dude is uh, one of the NASCAR's greatest drivers of all time to never win a championship or the Daytona 500. You got a crap load of contingencies. You got Moog, Kavite, Edelbrock, Plastilock, uh, Union 76, Wix Air Filters, Goodyear. I like the blue Goodyear with the white background. Uh, Rebestos, True Value, Holly, 3M, Autometer, Spicer, Mechanics Wear, uh, AeroQuip, Mac Tools, EA Sports, Jessel, Bowman, and Comp. Uh, just just signature Roush Racing number six, Mac Tools, Sherwin Williams, Sitgo. Uh, you know, shout out to the Jeff Burton review. If you haven't checked that out, you can go ahead and view it in the description below. Uh, beautiful die cast, uh, Comp, and uh, what is that? Speed Pro. We got Pfizer. Pfizer once again, Kraft and Ford Racing. Yeah, Mark Martin signature. And for those who have never had a Hot Wheels 164, check out the gloss on these cars. I mean, just look at that. It's just beautiful. I mean, you will never find this type of gloss on any 2019 die cast, any COT die cast, uh, even 2003 Winter Circle or Action Racing Collectible die cast. You will never find this type of clear coat probably ever on a 164 NASCAR die cast. I mean, this car is so freaking shiny. I mean, it, it, it's kind of hard to pick it up on camera. Just beautiful job. And of course, these actually have the rubber wheels, uh, unlike the, you know, the action racing collectibles, racing champions, you know, all that, all that stuff from the early 2000s. They had the straight plastic tires, uh, but no, Hot Wheels, they, uh, they, they definitely got the premium and they were able to bring uh, the rubber tires to their mainstream retail line. Over here on the back end of the car, you got a, a white stripe with the blue backgrounds, beautiful tail lights, number six over here, visor, uh, black spoiler, looks very good. 
And over here on the right side of the car, once again, man, just, just, just a beautiful paint scheme. It's so simple. Black race car, a blue whoosh over the side and kind of fades over the front fender well and just kind of shoots it and goes to the tail of the car. Just a beautiful, simple, uh, in my opinion, aerodynamic design that just looks so good. And then you add in the Goodyear bright neon yellow. I mean, just, just look at that, guys. You cannot tell me that is not a beautiful paint scheme. Now, I will say over here, you can kind of see a little bit of a, uh, a mis misprinted decal. It's kind of kind of rough on the top and you can see some blue specks in the middle so uh this is probably one of the uh the, the the bad portions of this die cast you can also see how on the windows they actually painted them ironically enough they actually painted the windows so you actually get to see the rails uh, i like that that's very vintage gen 4 and of course over here on the deck lid you got pfizer the man the myth the legend himself mark martin now here is the collectible trading card that comes with this die cast. Beautiful. Mark Martin. Hot Wheels Racing. Mark Martin. The man himself. I mean, well, look at that. Shout out to Sicko. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Roush Katir's back in the day. Look at this. I love this. So you got the color version here and then you kind of swap it. So you got the black and white color. Black and white color. Looks really cool. Um, over here on the back of the card, Mark Martin. Pfizer Ford. Hometown. Daytona Beach, Florida. I thought he was born in Arizona. I'm guessing this is like his hometown, not where he was born. Uh, hey, man, that's where else would you want to live? The Daytona Beach, man. Wow, that's pretty cool. Car owner Jack Roush. A little bit harder to see the Roush part. That's pretty cool. Um, definitely wish they would have put some statistics. I think that would have been a nice touch saying like career wins and put like an asterisk saying like as of uh january 2003 or whatnot or you know career wins i think that'd have been really cool or maybe his stats from the previous season i've seen those on late 90s uh nascar training cards and whatnot so definitely would have uh, liked to see that on this but of course it says 2002 here now this die cast could have been released in 2002 in late 2002 um, it could have been produced and said, okay, this is the car for next year. So this could have been made before Daytona. I don't know. But what I do know for a fact, this is the 2003 die cast, as you can see right now on screen. That is his 2002 Ford. And you can clearly tell it is a entirely different paint scheme. Honestly, this is just a gorgeous die cast, man. I mean, vintage 2003 Hot Wheels. Pfizer Ford Taurus. I mean, just look at those Goodyear lettering, man. That that sets it off so freaking much. Just this beautiful Goodyear lettering. I mean, with the car being, you know, most of it just being, you know, gloss black. That just neon yellow, man. I mean, it just kicks it in high gear. Beautiful die cast, man. 100%. 10 out of 10 recommends. Uh, man, this is this is definitely going into my own personal collection, and this is a keeper, folks. Thank y'all so much for watching the video, and guys, I want to hit 1,000 subscribers by 2020, guys, and I need y'all's help. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It helps out Diecast Buffet tremendously, folks. I would absolutely appreciate it. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you're having a great one, folks. Make sure to comment, share, all that good stuff. Let me know what y'all think about this Diecast as well. And with all that being said, Diecast Buffet, signing off.